Hey, it's Ben Hassel here, and in this class we're going to be running through how to separate clips into equal portions in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, this tutorial is not coming from my regular studio. I kind of switched things up a little bit, and I'm now in uh, Mexico for a, a few days. So I'm going to be mixing up some of the footage that I'm using uh, with some surf footage, and you might be seeing some other videos up on the channel as well. So let's get started and have a look at how we split up clips in Final Cut Pro into equal portions. There's a couple of different approaches to this. One is to create a slug that we can use to kind of mark out um, equal lengths in our clip. The other is to use a shortcut which will allow us to jump forward by a specific time where we can cut. So just to introduce some of the tools that we're going to use here. First of all we're going to be using the JK and L keys to play forwards which is L backwards which is J and K which is pause and we're just going to use that to find the spot at which we want to begin our clip so essentially what we're going to do is we're going to chop up this small sequence um, of some clips from a trip of mine into two second chunks and it could be one second chunks two second chunks whatever you like it doesn't really matter you can choose whichever one you want so you can choose whichever duration of clip that you want now we're going to split this up into two second clips but I'll show you how you can set the time so it's a, a different duration and that really depends on how quickly you want the edits to jump from one to another so you could have it as a very rhythmical kind of beat which is cutting every two or three frames which is going to give you a very very quick edit um, or in this case as one or two second clips um, which we'll, we'll run through here. Actually I think I'm going to go for one second clips because we'll be able to see a bit more clearly how that works. So the first thing we're going to do as I said is use JKNL to find the point at which we want to start our first clip so if I play through to the start point I'm going to mark an out point using the O key. So I'm going to mark out here to cut out the beginning of that clip. And then this is where the kind of key shortcut comes in. So I'm going to hold down the shift key and tap plus, which allows me right in the middle here to type in a time code with which I want to jump forward. So in this case, one second. So I'm going to type in one and then period, and that's going to make that one second and zero frame. So if you wanted to type in something different, then you would type in, for instance, two period, one five, which would make two seconds and 15 frames. So two and a half seconds if you're running at 30 frames per second. So if we hit enter now, we're going to jump forward. So if I press the I key, there we have our first clip. So if I press play now, mark uh, an out point. I'm just going to delete the beginning of this next clip. And you have to have the timeline activated for this. Hold down shift and tap plus, and then I can tap in one period. It's going to jump forward and I can mark an in point there and delete the end of that clip. So I'll press play through again, mark an out point, delete the beginning of that clip. Okay, so I'm just trimming them down from both ends. Hold down shift, tap plus, type in one period, hit enter, and then again we've got a one second clip. So basically we can keep doing this. Okay, so shift plus, and we're not speeding up the clips here, we're just cutting them down to one second clips. So we're going to get a very kind of quick edit between these different clips. So we'll do the, the next one here. So I'm going to come back to the beginning of this clip. And in order to come back to the beginning of the clip, I'm pressing the semicolon on the keyboard. Um, or you can just drag your playhead until it snaps, whichever you prefer. But just to the right of the L key is the semicolon. If we tap that, it will take us back to the beginning of that clip. And then we hold down Shift, tap plus, one period. It takes us to the one second into that clip. And we can just kind of keep going here. Okay, Shift, plus, one period, enter mark an endpoint with I and then we can cut that out. So we're just trimming these down. We'll wait for the Coca-Cola truck here. Shift plus one period and hit the endpoint. So I press backspace and delete and then again we'll find the endpoint for this. Now with this clip I've got the music track that I want to play in the background of my other clips. So I'm just going to hold down the Alt key and duplicate this first and then we'll play through mark an out point, hit enter to delete that, and then shift plus and one, period, enter, mark an in point, and we've cut those down all to one second clips, which has been quite easy. Now we'll have a look at a different method um, in a second, but before we do that, I just wanna drop this clip down to the timeline there and lift up the sound. And somewhere in here, we've got a little bit of music going on. I've turned the sound off for the other clips already. So we've got a quick edit between all those different clips. So let's have a look at one other method of doing this. So we're just going to jump back to the beginning of this. 
So the next method I'm going to do is going to be to use one of these clips as a, a kind of marker to, to mark out the timeline here. So if I take this first clip, I'm just going to duplicate it up to the, the timeline and I'm actually going to turn it off. So I'm going to press V just to disable it. And then I'm going to change the duration of this clip. So I'm just going to do Control and D to change the duration and we'll set it to 1.15, so one and a half seconds. Hit enter and we've got a one and a half second long clip there. And actually we need to keep this clip turned on in order to do this. So I'm just going to tap the V key again to turn that back on. And then I can drag in my clip to the beginning of that clip. And it should jump to it. And you can see it's snapping to the end of that clip there. So I can snap to the beginning and you can see it's snapping there. And this clip is one, one second and 15 frames long. So all our clips now, wherever we choose, we're going to place them. And actually, we don't need to have it on. We can leave it um, disabled, um, which will stop you from accidentally exporting it. And we can just jump this clip along in the timeline, see where we want that one second to be. And then just snap our clips to it, pulling it along in the timeline there so you can see it snapping nicely. So let's just find a, find a nice spot there snap this one and sometimes it just doesn't quite snap uh, in here so you might just need to have a go at you might just have to have a little fiddle around as you're moving that clip around but it seems to generally work pretty well so again we've lengthened the, the clip length there to 115 um, and we can have the clip length for whatever we want in either of those methods but essentially here we've now made a sequence that is uh, where each clip is one second and 15 frames long so we get this kind of nice rhythmical jumping between those clips and we could calculate uh, a kind of beats per minute or something like that if we wanted to cut down a specific clip um, in a different way so i hope that's been useful and um, if you have any questions then don't hesitate to send me a tweet at ben Housel, and i look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial